Hey welder skills, we're on a gouging tip job today. We're going to cut the bottom of this dump truck bed out to replace it. So I uh, got sucked into this job for the demolition part of it. So my friend Jeff's going to go at it with the gouging tip and I'm going to go after it with the plasma cutter. So where we're going after the welds underneath, we've got the bed propped up. You don't want to be underneath one of these without it being propped up. What we can reach here, we got some steel laid down to protect the wiring and the hydraulics and especially the chrome in that hydraulic cylinder. And whatever we can reach here, we're going to slice at it. Now we decided not to take the bed off the truck, but we're going to try it with the bed on the truck. And I, I think it worked out pretty good because we saved all the time of taking the bed on and off. Wish we had two cranes on site, so we definitely could have got the bed off if we needed to, but we thought this might be simpler. So here we can't really reach the bottom of it, so I just took the plasma cutter and just got rid of the center parts so we can get after it with the gouging tip. You can see here just how effective the gouging tip is and how fast it is. It's faster than a 45 amp plasma cutter for gouging. And here's a uh, shot of you know, we're going after we're going after these welds from the top because we don't care about the deck. All we care about is the frame. So we can just melt our way in from the top and not cut into the channel iron, and we can pretty effectively remove this truck bed. You can go over top of the truck bed, you know, just slam steel over top of it. But this the deck was so bent up, and that would have messed up the light weight of the truck. And then we couldn't have fixed any of the issues that might be we found with the frame. So this was a, uh, but this is a better way to do it. If you can cut the, the old one out, it makes for a much better job. So we left the bed up to get about two thirds of it. And then to make it easier to reach, we just set the bed down. I marked uh, underneath before we set it down with the plasma cutter where the welds were. I kind of blew holes at the end of the welds so we could see them from the top to see where to cut and we just went after it the rest of the way from the top. So I took my metal cutting skill saw here and we decided where we were going to stop because the very front of the bed was in good shape and it was holding some mechanisms. So I took a chalk line across there and I just took my skill saw across to make a nice straight cut. If, uh, if Jeff decides to butt weld that uh, he'll be able to. If he decides to go over top of it it really won't matter but I wanted to give him as many options as possible when we're when he goes to put this bed back together. So I probably won't be involved in the reconstruction process. I was just uh, here for some muscle and some <laughs> gouging and a little bit of grinding. So this job uh, actually ended up going pretty well. We did not seem to hurt anything in the truck. It's really easy to burn off airlines for the brakes and it's easy to burn up wiring but we tried to be careful and we had a hose handy and uh, everything worked when we were done so I guess we have to call to win. So on a big job like this a lot of times it's easier just to concentrate on sections so we just cut small sections out one at a time uh, small enough that we could handle them by hand we didn't have to uh, mess around with the crane like I said, we weren't trying to save the deck anyway, so who cares, chop it up, make it easy. And then that way, if you run into a weld that you missed, it's a lot easier to figure out where it is. Instead of, you have a large plate and you're trying to pry it up and get it out of the way. If there's one weld hang hanging you up, real hard to tell what the problem is. So we would just kept going at it with the gouging tip and the pry bar until it was all gone. I think this is a pretty neat torch cart. I like the way the chains are tight with a nut to hold the bottles on. So we're running 15 psi acetylene and we're running about 60 psi oxygen. And then when you're done with something like this, you want to go back and touch it up with a torch. 
because you want to try to avoid grinding. Grinding is slow and not any fun. Torch is always faster. So you, you can get as much as you can out of there with a the torch, and the grinding doesn't take near as long. So there we go. We're ready for a new deck, and that only took us about seven hours. So I'd say we, we uh, did a pretty good job on time, too. And I was wearing my respirator. I'm a big fan of these uh, under helmet respirators. As you can see, it definitely works. There was some crud in there that's not inside my lungs now. And I'm not upset about that. I think it's well worth the, I don't know what these cost now, $30. It's worth having a couple laying around. Well, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.